How does P6 calculate earned value? Well, P6 has a field titled Performance Percent Complete, which is used to calculate the earned value for each activity. And in P6, there are some options for calculating Performance Percent Complete for all activities in each WBS, which in turn is used to calculate the earned value. So the defaults for the Performance Percent Complete calculation for each WBS node are set in admin preferences and the options are managed at WBS nodes so each time you create a WBS node they copy the defaults set in the admin preferences and then you can change them for each WBS node. Once you open the WBS window uh, you can see the options which are self-explanatory and we're going to have a look at those now. Primavir P6 has a column called Performance Percent Complete. And the Performance Percent Complete is used to calculate the earned value. The way the Performance Percent Complete calculates the earned value is set in two places. First of all, if we go to Admin Admin Preferences and go to the Earned Value tab, this is the technique for computing Performance Percent Complete. And therefore, when you create a new WBS node, it takes a default. So if I now go to the WBS, and I select down here, and I add a new WBS node, then this takes those defaults. But you can change them now. You can use resource curves, WBS milestones, Nord 100, 50, 50, or custom percent complete. And we'll talk about how these work next. In this picture here, you can see that I have a program which has five WBS nodes, and each node has an activity, a single activity, and each node has a different technique for calculating the performance percent complete. So each of these WBS nodes has a different technique for calculating the performance percent complete. So the first one is the activity percent complete. So if I go to the WBS node, you can see that the earned value is calculated based on activity percent complete and therefore if I change the activity percent complete it will change the WBS activities performance percent complete. With the WBS milestones you see the performance percent complete is 75% so this is calculated from the milestones. I have four milestones with a weight of one which is three is complete that gives me the 75% here so you can see that's 75%. If I uncheck two of them, therefore what I now have is a 25% complete and therefore the performance percent complete is 25%. The 0 to 100, the activity is not complete and therefore the performance percent complete is zero until the activity is 100%. So if I mark the activity as 100% complete, then the performance percent complete is 100%. If I go back to the 50-50, you'll have 50% when the activity is started and 100% when the activity is complete. And then the custom percent complete, this allows you to enter a percent complete here in the earned value. So if I say that this is 13% complete, then this is reflected against the activity. So the performance percent complete is used then to calculate the earned value cost from the budget and the earned value units from the labor units. So the performance percent complete for all activities in one WBS node is calculated based on one of these techniques. The actual costs are the cost actually incurred in performing the work. So if you're to stop the work at this point in time and you're to pay everybody for the amount of work that they had completed, that will be the actual cost. So it's effectively the amount of money you spent in your accounting system plus accruals as long as the accruals are done accurately. In P6, you'll find that there are two methods that you can display the actual cost. You can either use the total to date or if you're using the financial periods, you can display them using the financial periods. If you use the total to, to date, then the actual costs are distributed evenly over the period of time from when the first cost was expended. If you use financial periods, then you'll see how much you spent in each month. So let's have a look at the actual cost field. 
If I go to the columns here in the activities window and I go to earn value, you see I've got actual costs here. So these actual costs are obtained from the earn value uh, columns and these actual costs will be exactly the same as if I get the actual costs. So it's the actual total costs. These will be the same, but obviously you see the actual expense, labor, material, or non-labor. And if I go down to the units, you'll be able to see only the actual labor and non-labor and it will not display the actual expense quantities or the material cost quantities. So these are the fields that you can see. And when we select OK, you'll see that the actual cost from both the earned value fields and from the other fields in the columns are exactly the same value.